Hey guys, what's up? It's Frank here with Royal Pools and More, and today I'm going to teach you how to set up the vacuum and to vacuum your in-ground swimming pool. Before we get started here, guys, if you give us a like, share, and subscribe, we would greatly appreciate it here. We'd like the world to know exactly what we do here at Royal Pools and More. All right, guys, before we get started with vacuuming the swimming pool, today what I'm gonna go over is actually how to set up your equipment pad um, via your, your valves in front of the pump. They're also gonna go over some other equipment over here, which I have down by the skimmer. So the first thing you have to do is a pool like this, when we're getting ready to vacuum, is we wanna shut off all the features and set the valve to be uh, ready for vacuuming. So let's walk over here to the equipment pad. As you can see, we have some water features on it. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure you shut off all of your water features here. So what we're gonna do is we wanna shut off the fountain behind us and the bubblers. And the reason for that is that we wanna maximize the flow, the suction from the skimmers because the skimmer actually turns into a vacuum for your pool. The other thing I wanna talk about is coming over here on the equipment pad. This is a variable speed pump. Anytime you're working with a variable speed pump, you wanna make sure the pump is set to a cleaning mode, which allows you to rev the pump up Again, allowing max suction from the skimmers. If it's a single speed, you don't have to worry about that too much. If you don't have a cleaning mode on your variable speed pump, you just wanna get it up to as high RPMs as you can possible. The other thing we wanna do here, we wanna take the valve and turn the drains down just a little bit here. We're gonna shut the drains down halfway. Again, the purpose is to increase the suction to the skimmer. All right, moving from here, we're gonna go set up the equipment over here by the skimmer. All right guys, so now that we're here over by the skimmer, again, the skimmer actually turns into a vacuum via the extensions here that we have, the pool tools that we're gonna use here. Um, so the first thing we're gonna start with is a pole. Just to let you guys know before we actually start vacuuming, the pole here will actually work as a multi-tool. You can hook up skimmer nets, leaf rakes like this. You can hook up your brushes. So everything gets attached to this pole. They're all universal for the most part. Um, some of them are a little bit more higher end than others, but you can hook up most of your hand tools to this pole. So what we're gonna do obviously today is hook up this vacuum. In this case, we have a fiberglass pool here, so I'm gonna use what's called a gunite vacuum. There are different styles of vacuums. Use what is the most comfortable for you. I don't recommend this on a vinyl liner pool because it does draw a tight suction and you might be able to suck the liner up with too much suction. So um, fiberglass surfaces are harder just like gunites, so they actually have this here. So we're gonna, um, hook it up for a fiberglass pole today. So basically it just clips right in here. So now your vacuum head is attached to your pole. And then we're gonna move on to the hose here. This hose, and most hoses today, the collar here, this collar actually reads this side to vacuum head. So we're gonna hook this right into the vacuum head here. And then the other end of this hose here, we have what's called a suction disc. This is a vac disc. This will actually suck around inside the skimmer around the basket here, creating a tight seal. So this is essentially your extension to the skimmer. You have the vacuum head attached to the pole, the hose attached to the head, and then the other end, you have it attached to the suction disc. So what we're gonna do here is take this suction disc end, pop the skimmer lid off, making sure the debris is clean in your basket, which this one is. We're gonna place this in here lightly. Don't press down yet because you always want the vacuum head to be underwater. And I'm gonna show you a little trick I do with the returns here. So what we're gonna do is flip this into the pool, trying to keep it as neat as possible here, guys. And I'm gonna walk this head across the other side of the pool. Now, as we do this, we want the hose to be all the way in the pool, which as I walk back there, I will throw it in here, but this pole will telescope out. This is an eight to 16 footer. So we wanna bring it up twist the cam and lock it in here. What I like to do is drop the vacuum head here. There's a little bit of a back and forth that happens at first, but it's okay. That's all to make this efficient. We're gonna drop the hose in. Always place the hose 
in the water. And then we can drop our disc in and it will seal around the basket. We're gonna walk back over here. And the little trick that I like to do, so that hose wasn't full of water and the pump could lose prime. So I like to take my vacuum head, put it right over the return, shooting water from the return inside the hose, helping to eliminate the air quicker. Um, eventually the pump will lose a little bit of a prime. Um, it might not even do that actually, but um, we're introducing air into the system. I can actually hear it coming back down right now. So you wanna just take about 30 seconds here making sure we keep pushing that air back in. The pump just dropped, I can tell, because the return pressure lowered. That's all right, just sit here for a minute. You can hear the pump in the background revving up for prime, and what it's doing is trying to draw more water because we introduced a bunch of air. You could actually do this before you put it in there too, and it helps either way. But most people fall into problems when it, when it starts to prime again, that's why I wanted to show you this. So either way will work, just whatever's more uh, convenient for you at the time. And now we're building a prime back up. And once you get that prime back up, you can drop your vacuum head down and you are ready to vacuum, guys. So the one thing about vacuum that I wanna go over, it is not like a vacuum in your house. You can't move fast, otherwise the force of the water will push debris around. You wanna take your time, slowly roll up on objects, any fine silt, dirt, dust, anything like that. You wanna take your time and go nice and slow over it. A pool like this, this is a 16 foot by 40 foot. Um, a pool like this will take me about 20 minutes to vacuum max, getting any solid debris. And then you're gonna take about another five minutes to net the pool itself. So other than that guys, that is exactly how you set up your vacuum. To break this system down, it's very simple. I just like to use the, the easiest, the least amount of resistance. So basically what I'll do is I'll shut the pump off, disconnect everything, and I'll turn the valve back over to 50-50, getting off the drains, and then we're back to normal, guys. So there you have it. That is exactly how you vacuum your in-ground swimming pool. If you guys would like more information, please view us at our learning center at royalpoolsandmore.com, or you can check us out on all of our social networks, such as Facebook and Instagram. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.